Bedford police say they've solved a 35 year old cold case murder in 1986. Janet Love was found raped and murdered in her apartment. Recent DNA technology led police to learn her neighbor did it, but too late for justice. He died in January. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins spoke with the victim's family about the long wait for closure. She's right at Bedford PD headquarters. Macy. Steve, it's been 35 years since Janet Love was found dead inside of her Bedford apartment, just a few blocks from here. Now, that case passed through the hands of 15 different detectives until police were finally able to link DNA found at the crime scene to identify her killer. The emotion is still raw. You think you've processed it. You think you've put it to bed, but it just comes right back. 35 years after the murder of her older sister, Janet Love, Rebecca Roberts finally has a long awaited sense of closure. Bedford police say DNA from the 1986 crime scene confirms her killer was Ray Amity Chapa, who is now dead. None of it's going to bring her back, but it, it is um, some sense of justice. Originally from Louisiana, 32 year old Love had moved to Bedford in 1985 to work as a ticket agent for Delta Airlines at DFW Airport. Her shift was from 3 p.m. to midnight, and though she lived alone, Robert says her family never worried about their fiercely independent Janet. We knew that she was wise enough to take precautions and, and be as safe and as careful as was possible. On April 24th, 1986, Janet's body was discovered by co-workers inside of her apartment on Eldon Dotson Drive. She'd been raped and fatally shot. We looked at a lot of serial offenders uh, over the years uh, trying to match somebody up uh, yeah. to this, so it, it's been a long, long road. With little evidence, the investigation ran cold. But in 2020, a DOJ grant allowed Bedford detectives to pursue advanced DNA testing on sexual assault cases. DNA from Love's case was sent to UNT's Center for Human Identification. They did the advanced testing and did forensic genealogy uh, and came up with a name for us. That name, Ray Anthony Chapa, who was just 19 years old in 1986. Sergeant Brett Bowen says Chapa held a string of odd jobs over the years and had a criminal history that included theft and drug possession. At the time, he lived about 800 feet away from Love's apartment. Chapa died at the age of 53 in January of a terminal illness, nine months before police would identify him as the killer. That it's probably best that he's not alive and that our family doesn't have to go through a trial and all of the the roller coaster emotions that would come with that. Roberts, three years old here with 10 year old Janet, says she's now focused on cherishing memories of her funny and fun loving older sister. Love to cut up and make people laugh. Now, Chapa was living southwest in Bluffdale, southwest of here in Bluffdale when he died. But police say that he also lived in Chicago and Montana. Detectives are working with the FBI to see if he is connected to any other cases around the country.